Hi everyone, today we're going to record an, another tutorial on AS3 NUI, the extended library, so you can run the extended demos and add gestures to your different um, applications. So, if you don't know where I got these files from, I got them from the AS3 NUI GitHub. If you watch my first video, you can see the links and it directs you on everywhere to go. So, we're going to extract AirConnect extended demos, and I've already done so here. And so we're going to open that up <coughs> and see these three folders, I'm going to save them, well, for now just leave them there and open up Flash Builder and start our project. We're going to create an action script project and it's going to be for the Air Desktop so let's do that and say new action script project for desktop which runs on Adobe Air. We're going to call this AST new extended tutorial for the extended library and we're going to press next. Now the library and native extensions path we'll worry about in just a second so let's press finish and that creates our project. So now that we've created our project, we can actually add the three folders that we used to have in our tutorial. Sorry, we already opened that and left it open. So here it is. We copy these over, and we're going to go to our Flash Builder 4.6 extended tutorial and just paste the three folders in here. Now, once you've done that, we are going to go to Flash Builder again, and look in here they've already been added but now we have to go to the project properties and the action script build path and add the a and e extension which is going to be located in flash builder 4.6 extended tutorial assets and an extension so that's where it's located we include that and in our library folder we're going to add a swig folder before we add our swig folder what we're going to do is go here and if you notice from what you extracted, the Air Connected Extended SWIC is another file that we're going to require. So let's add that to our Flash Builder SWIC folder as well, which is the Libs folder. Paste it in there so that we have the SWIC for the extended library. Now, now that we have that, we can actually go to the build path and add the SWIC folder, which is the Flash Builder 4.6 Extended Tutorial Libs folder. Press OK and now we see that they've been included. And then in your action script build packaging, you are going to package the extension. Make sure that is packaged, press apply and OK. And we should be ready to go. So now let's open AirConnect extended demos and see what they do. And first thing we're going to copy is this swift. Copy this over and put it on top of the class so it creates an actual size and frame rate and background for our Swift application. And then copy the event listener call in the constructor which is pretty much one of the only things we're going to need and then include event and I press control space to include things quicker and then copy the on added to stage phone call which is going to be the only one we copy then we're going to remove this and just copy these two lines which align the stage and don't scale it and include them and that's pretty much so far we have done nothing related to the extension the only thing we're going to do related to the extension is load a demo and I want to load the swipe demo so we're going to copy that over and just add child swipe demo and actually include the swipe demo now the swipe demo does all the initializing of the connect so right now we should be able to run this and let's just press uh, the debug run and now that we have that running we can walk into the scene and as you can see, it'll detect my skeleton, and then you can swipe. Now, we notice it's not printing out the swipe statements, so let's look into that and see why it is not doing so. Alright, I will be right back with uh, the next part of the demo. Alright, so now let's look at what's happening, because I don't, I'm not entirely sure why I wasn't swiping before but let's go to the declaration of swipe demo and if we go down we see just initializes the demo and what we're looking for is really when it detects the swiping so initializes connect an RGB camera and once it does that it draws the skeleton in the regions and here we go once it is on skeleton added it sets the skeleton to active here's what we want to see okay so now I realize our problem was that I was doing right swipes when it really was looking for my left hand. So 
yeah, this is swipe with region restriction. So if I try it with my left hand, it'll it should work. So let's try swipes with my left hand and see what happens. And actually, let me run this in debug so you can actually see it printing out. So now, now that we have this running, if we walk in the scene and I swipe right and I swipe left, right, left. And you can see it's pretty good about actually doing that. Now, if you want to have swipe without regions, and I'd personally recommend regions, but um, depending on your application, you might not need regions. They already provided code with no region restrictions, so we can comment out the... Let me comment this out real quick. Comment that out and comment this back in. And they left something in here which I believe is mistaken. Here it says skeleton position. This is how it used to be. Now, this is now located in air connect skeleton. So just do that code change. And once you have that, we should have swiping without any regions, which should be. Let's run that and see what happens. And again, I ran it and didn't debug it. Wait, let me close this and run the debug version so you can see when I'm swiping. And if we walk in, we can just swipe. Oh, sorry, left hand. I'm always going to mess this up. There we go. And then we can do it down here. And of course, it might not be perfect in different areas, but you get the idea. So yeah, that's how to run it with the extended library of, that now includes gestures and will soon include even more things. So yeah. All right, thanks a lot for watching.